Hi, this is Dean and Bo with MaxiLift. Today we're going to talk about Maxi Splice mechanical splices for your belt. And there's five main points of why we would recommend you use a mechanical splice. First one is no guesswork, right Bo? No guesswork, cor correct Dean. Every Maxi Splice is rated for a specific belting PIW, and it's also rated for specific applications, whether they be industrial or something uh, that, that's maybe a corrosive application. Um, we take that out of there. We, we, you tell us what you need or what your application is, and we'll turn around and tell you what Maxi Splice fits best for you. So no guesswork here. You don't have to try to determine how many splices you need or which splice you should choose. And then the next point is, you use less belt if using mechanical splice. Yeah, that's right. A mechanical splice of this design uses just a few feet of extra belt, where if you're trying to do a lap or a butt splice, uh, you might be talking 20 or 30 additional feet of belting. When you get into the uh, the higher rated belting specs and the wider belts, it can be quite a considerable cost added to that for the extra footage there. So with a maxi splice, we take that out of the equation and save you some money. Third point would be that a mechanical splice is easy to install. We try to make it easy to install for sure. Every maxi splice kit that leaves maxi lift has a set of instructions, a uh, template tape which allows you to properly mark the holes on the elevator belt. Uh, we also have uh, tools available for you to use to make installation easy. And lastly, we have videos on the website that explain the installation process, how to do it right and make sure you get a secure splice. And if you ever have to undo the splice, maybe re-splice your belt, these are reusable, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the, the various plates of each design are reusable. We do recommend, though, if you're going to reuse the plates, that you do replace the hardware. Uh, all the hardware is grade 5, and we use a nylon insert lock nut. The reason why we recommend replacement is the threads on the bolts do get stressed over time, and you will uh, wear out the, uh, the nylon insert in the lock nut and reduce its locking ability. So you want to replace those, but the plates are good to go, so keep using them over and over. And the last point would be that a mechanical splice is more secure than a lap splice, correct? It, it really is. Uh, you know, we see so few failures in a maxi splice. When we do, it's typically because the belt has failed, not because the splice has failed. The, uh, the three-part design is three plates that allow the belt, as you can see from this uh, example here, that allow the belt to come through between the three plates, and it's a, a clamping pressure. That clamping pressure holds the, uh, the belt together. It doesn't allow the movement of the belt like you might see in a lap or a butt splice, which eventually wears out the holes in the, uh, the belt and causes failures. Uh, it's a secure design. It's more secure. You're not gonna find anything that uh, will hold the belt as well as this does. For me, this is where I'm gonna spend my money if I'm splicing an elevator belt. So this is Dean and Bo with MaxiLift. Give us a call or send us an email. Check out our website. Thanks again.